Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're here for an unboxing. I recently decided that this year I was going to start getting the Sabbath box. It is a box subscription that comes eight times a year. It comes on all of the major Sabbaths which are the Wiccan and or Pagan holidays. They send you a box. It's got all kinds of stuff that is picked to go with the particular holiday that you're on. I've talked before on the channel that I don't really do subscription boxes so it was kind of a weird decision for me. I am trying to expand my pagan collection of things so I decided that it was a good enough reason to get a subscription box and see what kind of things I could get that would be geared toward the Sabbaths. If you are interested in getting this subscription box and you are worried about what the packaging is, your privacy, not maybe wanting people to know what your religion is because that is kind of a thing that... Okay so apparently there's a rooster outside my window but I am on the north side of the house. The chicken coop is on the south side of the house. So if you can explain to me why there's a rooster outside my window, that would be great. Cool. I guess he tried to explain. So if you're worried about your privacy, maybe you, you know, live somewhere you don't want your neighbors or maybe even your family to know about your religious choices um, and you're worried about the box, worry no more. It's just plain box. And even the return address just says SB Shipping Department. It doesn't say that it's Sabbath box. Um, there's no markings on the outside of it. Nothing, just round box. So don't have to worry about that. Very private if you feel the need to be private. Most everyone in my life knows that I classify as pagan, wicked, which whatever terminology you choose to use, they're all accurate at different times because my religious views are very fluid. So let's open the box together, shall we? One, two, a tree. <sighs> I can't, I can smell it. Like, you can smell the incense. Like, I know there's incense in here because I can smell it. Ta-da! It's green! Ta-da! So the first thing in there is this Blooming Prosperity card. And this card actually has all of the items in it. So everything that's in your box is on the card on the top. This card also goes through when Ostara is. It is March 20th this year. Typically it falls between the 20th to the 22nd depending on the moon cycle, but this year apparently it's the 20th. Um, though the actual day in, uh, that Ostara may fall on can change from time to time this year, the vernal equinox falls on March 20th. See, I knew that already. Look at that. Um, it also tells you who originally observed Ostar, which which basically it's a festival of spring and it's the spring equinox and history basically according to this and my own studies shows that um, the ancient Egyptians were some of the first people to celebrate Ostara and it has also been celebrated by Persians, Celts, Greeks, and Aztecs which kind of knowledge around here. What is Ostara? Ostara, also known as the spring or vernal equinox, is one of the two equinoxes that we have each year. The vernal equinox marks the first day of spring. It is also the time of the year where the light of the day and the dark of night are equal. The word equinox comes from the Latin word meaning aquinoctum. Mm -mm. No? Aquinoctum? Oh, TM, there's an I in there. Okay. Anyway, meaning equal night. The word Ostara is derived from the Proto-Germanic word ostro, meaning to shine or the word austere, meaning to rise. We don't really know, cause, cause, cause no one knows. There's a bunch more writing on here, but basically it just talks about how the spring equinox symbolizes the first day of spring. And sorry, the cat was attacking the box because I expected that to happen. For many pagans, Ostara and the spring equinox represent rebirth, growth, balance, and fertility. It marks a great time to work on prosperity magic in order to manifest your goals and bring them into fruition. And it's also good for spring cleaning and for resolutions and all of that fun stuff as well. And there's a bunch a small print on the back that I'm not going to read to you because we would be here for three years. Okay. Okay, so let's get to the actual products in the box now that we've talked for 20 minutes about the holiday itself. So the first thing is this cylindrical object, which I'm assuming is a candle. I've also kind of looked at the sheet, so it's a candle. This is like a beeswax candle and it's, you can look at it. You can almost kind of see here um, where it's got the holes in it. It's actually 
spiraled. It's like a flat sheet that is then spiraled. It's really cool. Pretty nifty. This is by Le Locan's Awen, and it is a success and prosperity candle. And we have an anointing oil. This is by Earth and Alchemy, and it just says prosperity anointing oil. This mixture includes rose, patchouli, orange, lavender oils, and a few more. And next we have this bag, which has a four leaf clover, and on the back of it, it says a luck. And if my stone memory serves me correctly, a giant hunk of pyrite, which is also known as fool's gold. So I'll double check. Dun, dun, it is pyrite, AKA fool's gold. Pyrite is an iron mineral often used along with magic for workings pertaining to prosperity and finances. So it seemed only natural to include a beautiful specimen within each of your prosperity centered Sabbath boxes. A stone to add to my stone collection because yes, like a good pagan, I have a stone collection. There's something moving in there and I don't know if that's good or bad. This is a prosperity kit. It includes alfalfa, spearmint, and chamomile green aventurine stone and one ching coin basically you make it like a sachet you say a small blessing over the bag and you wear it on your body or hang it in your home bag with herbs ching coin green aventurine and i'm gonna put all this back in the box so the cat doesn't need it because cats are weird and they like herbs next is incense these are from wise owl incense they are Pluming prosperity promotes and instills abundance and prosperity, awakening, rebirth, and balance, fertility, body or mind, blossoming and fruitful experiences and opportunities. Hopefully it's the mind kind and not the body kind. Actually it smells really good. You save this one for last because it's big and it's in a pretty bag. And it's actually pretty heavy. Okie dokie. It's also pretty broken. At one point in its life this was a goddess statue for your altar but it's 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 broken it has the brook so I don't know if that's bad luck or not really sure um so I will contact them and let them know that I had a broken item um again this is my first box so I don't know what they do about broken items I don't know if they send you a new one I don't know I don't know so I'll have to contact them and find out I will update you on that when I find out but otherwise she's very pretty and there's a lot of gold inlaid on it as well which makes it extra pretty and shiny let's see if there's anything else in here under the copious amounts of green ribbon that I'm going to have to hide from my cats so in here is a card for the pyrite. It basically tells you that it connects with the planet of Mars, the element of fire, the zodiacs of Leo and Aries, chakras of the solar plexus, and the goddess Persephone, which is interesting because Persephone, if you don't know, in Greek mythology, is the goddess who gets stuck married to Hades. The reason why we have winter is because Persephone's mother is so sad that she has to marry Hades that she forgets to make things bloom in the winter time and then in the spring Persephone gets to come back above from the underworld and stay with her mother and then she has to go back unto the underworld in the fall that's why we have a cycle of life according to the ancient Greeks so now you know um but yeah basically just tells you a bunch of things about the pyrite and then there is another card in here and it gives you some information on prosperity magic there's a correspondence guide that tells you different herbs that correspond with it and crystals that correspond with it um it also has traditions charms and symbols prosperity folklore um feathers and, and all of that fun stuff and prosperity candle magic Lots and lots and lots of information. I feel like this would be a really good thing for someone who is just getting started into witchcraft because there's so much information in here. Stuff that, I mean, you can look on the internet, but it's also right here. And you also have all the tools that you need to do whatever you want to do from here. So 
that's pretty cool. So that was my unboxing of my Sabbath box. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this or you didn't. If you ever want to see another one or you don't. I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. I enjoyed my Blood Witch unboxing and I wanted to unbox something else. And this is the only box that I got. But I do have some Happy Planner stuff coming up so I might unbox that too. Who knows? I'm crazy. That's all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and whatever in the hell this is related videos uh, three times a week. If you haven't noticed, I have updated my uploading schedule to Mondays, Wednesdays, and either Saturday or Sunday. Always Monday and Wednesday, and then one day on the weekend, depending on what I have done at the time. And if it corresponds to a specific date, because a lot of times on the weekends it's going to be a live show, so it just kind of depends on what's going on in the real world. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!